my fellow Decepticons, as your new ruler, welcome to my graduation, coronation, coronation Starscream. Wait, Megatron, is that you? Here's a hint. Pew! Flare. <laughs> and he's dead. Okay, now we need to go fight the Decepticons. I win! Oh no. <laughs> it broke. It fell apart before I even done the video. Well, time to fix it. Hello there, and welcome to a dino review, where today we will be reviewing not this guy. This is the Multimata Master, which will not be this review. Instead, we're reviewing the Legacy Galvatron. Love this time. The 86. Starscream, and last but not least, the Kingdom Ultra Magnus. Now, why are we doing these? Well, they just remade a new version of this, and I thought, why not bring out the old one, the show, before the new one comes out? I think it's already out, but I don't own it yet. Do Starscream because it's Starscream, everyone loves the Starscream, and also, to go with the scene, you need to bring out a Galvatron. They, d they just belong together. Canon. But let's have a quick look at the boxes. Uh, so, you know, Ultra Magnus have a nice Ultra Magnus here. You, know, you can see the toy in there. And yeah, some nice artwork. Pretty good box. This is a pretty good box. You can see the figure. And then for Galvatron, they kept the sort of design of the diagonals here. But they made it a bit more pointy. Oh, fancy. And I love the artwork on here. It, it really does work. And you have some legacy artwork there. And on the back. You can see the toy, you buy it. I should stop throwing these around. And for Starscream, you have a nice artwork of Starscream. And again, here on the back. But the issue is, you can't see what you're getting. So, you could easily open these up and swap them around. And that does happen, so be careful when buying these. Because people can swap the figures around and you might go and go, Ooh, I got Galvatron and end up with an Optimus. Or Bumblebee. Or like, not even a Transformer. I, I don't know. But anyway. Like, get them, get Ultra Magnus out of here, in the other two, and review them. And, here they all are, out of the box. Let me just put his chain on, there we go. And, yeah, they're pretty good. Let's start off with the oldest, this guy. And, robot mode is pretty good, you know, you got, size-wise it's pretty good when you compare it to Galvatron, but... It could be better. The new one is bigger and works a lot better. Um, but you can see some of the proportions are a bit weird. Like the feet just... They're just big chunks of plastic. They're, they're not a lot there. Decent. Good if you're like a kid, but not a, the best. I, I do like the head sculpt. That is really nice. Um, they should have done it where you can open this up and get the Matrix in, but they don't. Again, the new one fixed that, which is good. It's just a lot of chunkiness on this guy. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, also, you get a gun so you can go... Uh, ability pretty good, you know, you can look up, look down. Have a nice swivel. Arms can go whoosh. Arms can also go whoosh. And they can also go swoosh. Also, the hands can also do a full 360, which is hard to show on camera. But it can do that. You also got a nice... 360 swivel, but it does get a bit stuck uh, because of this part here, so you might want to push that up slightly to get it over these parts. Um, you know, let's go do that. Ratchet joint, love that sound. And that can do that, and the feet can pivot, even though it's already on a pivot. But yeah, uh, then we'll go over the possibility for Starscream. I will get to his play feature in a second. But Starscream. Pretty good. I, I, this is just the Earthrise Starscream in a better colour, and I, when I say better colour, that head sculpt. The, the colouring on that, it have like a nice grey, gunmetal grey to it, which gives it more of an animation accurate look compared to the Earthrise version. And the cape, pretty nice. I like, I like, I like a good cape with my um, Starscreams. Uh, you also get pulsable fingers, which is something which these two are missing. That's the one thing I will say these two are missing. Stats can get a thumbs up for that. You know, and the null rays and the 
shoulder pads pretty good. Legs are it, it's the Earthrise one, what do you expect? Uh, pulsability, pretty much the same. Uh, not really much to go on about with this guy, you know. Uh, once we get to the accessories with this, or the alternate arms, then yeah, yeah, then we'll talk about other stuff. The cape does pop off, but we'll get to that in a second, but can't even tap it back in now. Lovely. But we'll move on to Galvatron and then Starscream, he meant to, he meant to like turn you to dust. You're not meant to turn him to dust. Here's Galvatron. And I'm not gonna lie, this is really good. These parts are a bit annoying, that's what I mean. These parts. I'm not the biggest fan of these um, shoulder parts here, but again, it is what it is. Um, it needs transform. But I, I love this guy. The pulsability on this is really good, and the color scheme is good. Not a big fan of the gun, but again, that's the animation model fold. Other than that, pretty good. And yeah, but I will show you how you transform the other two into their alternate form. Then we'll look into their spherical form. Wait, let me move you to the side. And bring out Starscream. Let's do, let do Starscream because he's nice and simple. So what you want to do, you want to remove the shoulder pads. And you do get all of a null race, but I, I left them at home. So, you want to get the... I prefer using these ones anyway, so that's why I'm getting these. And you want to do the same to this side. Like so. And there you... No, work with me. There we go. The shoulder pads are pretty nice actually. The the different sides, so that the, they look similar, they're just very slight detail change. The cape comes off and again it's pretty nice, it does fold, but very weirdly. And the crown can just pop off. Really simple. And the base figure pretty good. I I do really enjoy this. I think it looks really good on its own. Uh this is what I mean by the Noel where he fits on better. You just Tap them back in and they look a bit more closer in. I, I I prefer it like this, but yeah, but here you go. Here your star scream. Pretty good. Um you also get this throne. Pretty good throne. Um you can put the accessories on here, so and there your throne with the back on. Now star scream does fit on the throne. I'm gonna just get down slightly. There we go. Um, he does sort of fit on. The issue with mine is that hinge there breaks. On that side, that side is not so bad. So just be careful of that. That one thing I want to be careful of. But other than that, pretty good. Um, then you can sit down. It, it works. A star scream is in a throne. It's okay until you turn it to the side and he looks like he's floating a bit. But oh well, it's okay. But. Yeah, but then you can also bring in Galvatron and just destroy him, like so. Uh, but let's move on to uh, Ultra Magnus' other mode now. And what you want to do with him, you want to take off the legs, like so. And one of mine did have a problem with the tab where it snapped off, which is fun. Um, so be careful of that. Again, you're possibly going to get the new version, but this one is still a decent toy. Pretty good. I, I, I like this one. I, I will say I do enjoy this. Mostly because of the only Ultra Magnus I had in my life. I can move that off there. And I can move the shoulder pads off. And you're left with this. Uh, what you want to do... You want to move this forward, like so. Push that up. Close that in. Untap these. Open this up. Flip out the head. Fold that up. Fold that there, swivel this around, and bring up the toes, and there you go. A white Optimus Prime with a bunch of different parts, and this is pretty basic. This is literally just like a... What is it now? Core class? Legends class? I, I forget core class now. Oh, Legends class. But it's like a core class um, Ultra Magnus. Well, White Optimus it pretty much... Yeah, it's, it's okay, but not the best. Uh, but yeah, in these forms here, the, uh, you, you can see the scales are, are, works okay, but you're never going to have it in this mode. The new one got rid of this, which I'm both happy about, but also quite upset about, because I do like my White Optimus. I, I think it's a cool 
concept and it's quite um, a nice idea. But here they are, all together. Um, but let's transform them, and I'll be back after they all transform to show you what they look like. And here we are with all three transformed, and you know, they're, they're pretty decent. Uh, Galvatron's mode is this tank. You know, very close to the movie. Um, looks the same. You also can put the chain on here, but it looks kind of goofy, so I just uh, go like, woo, remove it. In fact, I'll show you this actually. It's the Matrix. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, back to the figure itself. Um, pretty good. Uh, it, it looks like it does in the movie. Not the best old form in the movie, but it's accurate to the movie. Pretty good transformer. It can go pew, and it can, you know, kill anyone. I, I, I destroyed this thing like 50 times before I even started reviewing it. Let's I, I just review it now before it actually get destroyed because these parts fell off. They normally go under here, but you know, the, it's, it's, it's okay. There's no moving there. It's quite hollow, um, you know, hollow. There's not much to say about it. It's it's a truck thing, really. It... Not as good as the Optimus or Legacy or any other, you know, Optimus. Um, this is not Optimus, but it's a similar thing. Virtually, it is Optimus with this truck. Great. How many times am I saying Optimus now in this video? I'm going insane. But as you can see, it's 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 a that thing, the new one, miles better. That actually have movability. The truck bed is a lot better. I recommend getting that one. This one is still decent if you can't afford the hundred quid for it. Um, you know, this was only I think fifty, if I'm not mistaken. So you know, good alternative. But get the new one if you can. Uh, possibly nowadays with inflation and aftermarket, possibly works out cheaper anyway. But you know, um, pretty good still. And next we got Starscream, and Starscream actually looks really nice. I, I do really enjoy this one, even though it's the same as the Earthrise one, I just prefer the colours. Two little grey dots, they were like, okay, right. Phil, Has Phil from Hasbro, we need to add paint to this Starscream, what should we do? Should we add, you know, the stripes on here? Should we, you know, do something else to the mode? Now, now add on two grey dots. Yeah. Because that's a priority. Why is that a priority? You're missing the stripes. But no, no, no. Two grey drops. Drops. Two grey spots. Yeah, no. We need them. That. Jeez, oh, it's a studio series. We can't. Oh, jeez. People are going to be complaining that they're not the two grey spots. Yeah, it, it, it is kind of stupid. But I'm overreacting at this point. This, this is a good jet. It's a decent jet. Until you, you know, look at it from here. Yeah, and they reuse this mode like 50,000 times now. Yeah, again, a bit overused. I think they need to make a new jet. Um, he, he, he can go in his throne, you know. You can have a jet on a throne. He. Yeah, but yeah. Anyway, that's the um review for these three. Bit different from my normal content. I want to try some Transformers stuff. So I thought, why not spruce it up a little bit? If, if you enjoyed this, let me know. Yeah, these three. Um... Pretty good. If I had to rank them, this one is possibly the best one. You know, it's a good vehicle, or decent vehicle, really good robot. Can't fault it too much. And still available. You can still buy this one now. I got it for 20 quid. So, can't complain. 20 pounds for this. Not bad. I, you know, uh, I believe it may get a redone soon. Starscream. It's Starscream. Good to have, but again, I feel like they might be bringing one out next year for the 40th anniversary of Transformers. So, stuff like Optimus, Starscream, Bumblebee, Megatron for G1. Save to next year, you might be able to find one better. So, sneaky little, you know, tip from Dino there. Don't buy this. There might be one next year. Or it might be worse and you miss out. So don't listen to me. But, anyway. Then you got Ultra Magnus, which, uh, yeah, get the new one. This one is good for the time, but compared to that new one, you cannot... Like, you just kind of like, there, there's a head there. Ah, oh, where do we put Ultra Magnus' feet? On the back and his head inside. Yeah, it's very strange. 
but you know, uh, it got to go somewhere, I guess. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. And oh, and also, um, they're now a dinosaur attacking. Yeah, Spotty decided to just get involved. He, he wants to say hi. Say hello, Spotty. This is a tease to the um, recurring character for Dino Productions. Yeah, I'm going insane.